Here are my five tips for hyperthyroidism or overactive thyroid. This could be autoimmune with Graves' disease. Okay, tip number one is limit your cell phone use near your thyroid gland. This goes for those Bluetooth headphones as well in your ears. This is something that you wanna avoid those non-native EMFs that are very close with that radiation to that thyroid, going to have a negative impact on that normal thyroid function. Okay, tip number two, you wanna see that sunlight in your eyes and on your skin, especially first thing in the morning. This is really important for your circadian rhythms and something called your leptin signaling, which I'm gonna get to. This is really important to set up your proper circadian rhythms in line and in tune with nature every single day. This is going to help to regulate your thyroid function, but also your sleep and your melatonin for later at night when you're sleeping. Tip number three for hyperthyroidism, eat more colorful food. So foods that are rich in polyphenols, green tea being one of them, and has been found in the research that these foods inhibit something called thyroid peroxidase. We can see in this study that inhibiting that thyroid peroxidase is a great way to decrease that overall inflammation in the thyroid gland, but also helps to control that overactivity of that thyroid. Number four, selenium. Some people say selenium. So you want to increase your intake. This is a very important mineral to help to run and balance out that proper thyroid function. In this study, it was found that TSH levels were more elevated. So that's a good thing when your thyroid is over functioning, you actually want to have higher TSH levels to help to bring down those thyroid hormones. And the TSH was more elevated in the group of people that had more selenium in their system. And that was from supplementation. So just three to four Brazil nuts per day is going to give you the amount of selenium that you need to help to balance out that hyperthyroidism. And tip number five, I promised I would talk about that leptin resistance. So you want to fix your hormonal signaling. You want to fix that leptin signaling. This is really important for overall health and energy levels, but very important for that hyperthyroidism as well to fix that leptin resistance. Now for tips on how to fix your leptin resistance, check out my video, five tips to fix leptin resistance. I'll see you there.